Today we're talking about the quote-unquote best friend of the protagonist in Persona 5 Royal. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto, but you can just call me Ryuji, got it? No, it's the bad boy of the series, he's a core founding member of the Phantom of Thieves, plus he's got a bum leg. With that, here are my reasons why Ryuji Sakamoto is for real material. Whenever he's not slouching, he stands at around 5'7", just 2 inches below Joker. He can often be seen wearing the Shujin school uniform, but being the bad boy that he is, he bends the rules by dyeing his hair blonde and wearing a brightly colored t-shirt inside. One time he was too lazy to change out of his school uniform and visited Shinjuku at night, thus drawing some attention from the cops. However, that's not the only people he attracted. Natural star! He's blonde, muscular, he's definitely got what it takes to be on stage! Who the heck are you? Oh, so cute! Nice. Ah! Oh, are you kidding me? While inside the metaverse, he's still the silliest member, and hilariously bad at giving code names. Sexy cat! Shoulder pads! Like it? Oh my gosh, you are so dumb. During battle, he goes under the code name of Skull. Yeah! I thought of it because of this skull mask I'm wearing. Specializing in lightning type spells and wielding a metal pipe, because he's a straight up thug. As for his persona, it comes in the shape of a one eyed ghost pirate, complete with a ship, named after the iconic Captain Kid. Ryuji is technically the very first friend we make in the game, and he's been loyal ever since. He's the kind of friend that'll often invite you out to a meal and try his favorite places. And don't forget that little moment with the bread roll. Oh, I'll take, take it! it. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. He's also a good partner to bring to buffets. During their session at the Wilton Buffet, Ryuji took full advantage by partaking in all the meat dishes and stuffing himself to the brim. Just like the main protagonist, Ryuji has a tragic backstory of his own. He was once the star runner of the track team, then one day it was all taken away from him. Based on their exchange at the castle, Kamishida was mistreating the track team and in a fit of rage, Ryuji went and attacked him, thus resulting in a broken leg for Ryuji. Kamishida will claim that it was self-defense, but we all know that's not true. The injury itself was inflicted on the right thigh bone, known as the femur, which was confirmed by the damage seen on his persona. This is probably why Ryuji sits a certain way and that his leg is prone to fail at times, like during one of their escapes from the palace. Despite getting the revenge on Kamashida, I would say Ryuji had the most taken away from him, which is probably why he can really relate to Joker's tragic story. That's so messed up, man. You weren't the one that hurt her, but you took the fall. I can't go on. Despite the horrendous injury, Ryuji doesn't let it stop him from busting a move. I'm not exactly sure how to describe his dance style, except that it's kind of goofy looking, but hey, that's our Ryuji. For a victim of abuse, Atlas sure likes to use him as a punching bag. <laughs> Isn't that... He's often the butt of all jokes, but is able to remain optimistic. So now let's go over my favorite trait for Ryuji. The fact that he's not very smart. While most would call this a fault, it allows us to witness some hilarious moments from him. So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I have no idea though! <laughs> if you've played Persona 5 Royal, you'll notice how Ryuji often gets carried away with his emotions, often landing him into some trouble. He's also the kind of guy who would unknowingly brag about being a phantom thief through a megaphone. And let's not forget his impeccable timing. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! Now with this level of emotion, it's surely accompanied by some, no, a lot of cursing. What the F, man? Jerk! Oh, that F and Kamoshida. Moron! Authentication required. Please insert your member ID. What the hell, you piece of crap? And let's not forget his favorite catchphrase. For real? For real? For real? For real? For real? Being the hothead that he is, Ryuji can often be seen arguing with Morgana, throwing all sorts of shade back and forth. Ryuji is savage enough to drop the bold but somewhat true statement of calling Morgana useless. While Futaba is more useful as a navigator, Morgana is still the very important getaway car. Cat, we gotta go! Yeah! At times, Ryuji can be quite heroic. During the cruise ship palace, after defeating the boss, they had to escape the sinking ship, but needed a getaway boat. Ryuji then used his track skills to sprint up the platform and drop the boat for the team, later vanishing in an explosion presumed to be dead. He didn't make it out. <laughs> Next thing we know, he casually waltzes in, not reading the room. What's this? Your crying face is so not cute. It's your damn fault! What did I do? The girls then got together and made him wish he stayed dead. Poor Ryuji. Overall, Ryuji's a good guy. His confident route is all about mending his past mistakes with the track team. Attacking Kamoshida costed them some valuable scholarship opportunities. 
In the end, he was able to restore their old coach and even let them beat him up. Well, since you offered and all. Uh, wait! A few minutes later. When I offered, I meant one punch. Between the rest of the fan thieves, Ryuji is probably closest to An, seeing as they went to elementary school together. This is probably why he's able to make all sorts of silly comments around her. She's intense. Is she a cougar or into weird stuff? I'm not a cougar! And what do you mean, weird stuff? However, that doesn't stop him from fantasizing about her. She'd never wear something that hot. <laughs> hey man, I'm already at that age, so don't go blaming me, okay? Or even being a perv around her, such as during the fireworks and at the pyramids. <laughs> perv? And don't forget his famous monkey face at the beach. Ryuji is that friend that likes to fantasize about meeting girls, but fails to get anywhere with them. When they were at the beach, they tried to pick up some girls as a group and failed miserably. Ryuji is also one of the masterminds behind Operation Maid Watch. Time to Maid Watch! Maid Watch! Maid Watch. Providing the apartment and plan, but failing to see it through himself. Speaking of Maid Watch, while they were in the Velvet Ballroom, he called the number of a maid flyer he found. And somehow, he ended up requesting Makoto for some maid service. Cook? Why do you ask? Dude, don't spill the beans! Well, that would have been something. Now everyone already knows that if you romance mobile girls, then all the other girls will come and visit you, and they don't look happy. They mainly go on about who you were with last night, spying another person with you at the shop. Now normally, we would assume it's whoever you date during Valentine's Day in the game. But the official person according to Valentine's OVA is none other than Ryuji. The next day. Girls can be so cruel. And no, Ryuji, Valentine's from your mom does not count. So what do you think about Ryuji? Would you want him as your best friend? Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment about Ryuji's Takamoto, our favorite for real thug.